Hey everyone, this is Owen with Motion Array, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use text animations in After Effects. I'll be going over five different animations and you can see them playing now in my comp window. These five are going to cover a bunch of different aspects of text animators, so by the end you should have a solid grasp on what text animators can do and hopefully go out there and make some really cool ones of your own. Alright, let's get started. The first one I'll make is the blurry fade on. This one here. So I'll make a new composition. I'll make sure it's 1920 by 1080 and I'll call it text animation one. Then I'll hit okay. Inside this new composition, I'll make a new solid by going to layer, new, solid, and I'll make it this light blue here. I'll call this solid background and then I'll hit okay. Inside my project panel, I'll go ahead and duplicate this composition so that I have five of them. And I'll save these for later so that I don't have to make that solid background over and over again. So back in my text animation one composition, I'll use the text tool and I'll make a new text layer by clicking in the composition and I'll type fade on. I'll switch to the selection tool and I'll scale this up and I'll use the align panel to center it to my composition. Then I'll twirl down my text layer and go to the animate menu and add an opacity. So what that does is it creates a new animator and you can see down here it's got opacity as a property. I'm also going to use the add button and choose blur. I'll adjust the opacity to 0% and I'll change the blur to 10. Then I'll twirl down the range selector and the advanced tab. Under advanced, I'll change the shape from square to ramp up and I'll change the ease high and ease low to 50%. I'll also turn on randomize order. So you can see that things are starting to shape up. We just have to do the animation. At frame zero, I'll set a keyframe for offset at negative 100%. Then at frame 45, I'll change that value to 100%. So that does it for the first one. In the project panel, I'll double click text animation two to open up that composition. I'll use the type tool and this time I will make type that says mast. I'll increase the point size so that the next time I use the type tool it'll be this size too. And then I'll use the align panel to center. Then I'll twirl down that type layer and under the animate menu I will choose position. I'll adjust the Y position so that the text layer is below the bottom point of where it was before. So if I undo that, you can see the bottom is right here at the anchor point. So I just want to make sure that it goes down below that. Then I'll twirl down the range selector in the advanced tab. Again, I'll change the shape from square to ramp up. And this time I'll change the ease low to 100%. At frame zero, I'll change the offset to negative 100 and set a keyframe. Then at frame 30, I'll change that to 100%. Using the rectangle tool, I'll draw a mask around my text layer and just make sure that it won't be visible before it animates up. And that's it. Text animation two is done. All right, so for the third text animation, we're gonna be doing tracking and opacity. So I'll double click text animation three and I'll create a new text layer. And this one I'll type in tracking. Then I'll center it with the align panel. I'll twirl down the text layer and under the animate menu, I will add tracking. And then under animator one, I'll also add, where is it, opacity. I'll change the tracking amount to 100 and the opacity to zero. Then I'll twirl down my range selector and set a keyframe for start at frame zero. I'll move ahead to frame 60 and I'll change that to 100. I'll also twirl down the advanced tab and change based on from characters to words. It's looking pretty good. I just want to add an ease to that keyframe now. 
So I'll right click on the second keyframe and go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. I'll right click again and go to keyframe velocity. And for the incoming velocity influence, I'll change that to 80%. And that does it for animation three. The fourth animation is going to be the type on, so I'll open up that fourth text animation, create a new text layer, I'll make it type on, and then I will use the align panel again. I'll twirl down the text layer, and under the animate menu, I'll choose opacity. I'll change the opacity to zero, and then I'll twirl down the range selector and the advanced tabs. Under Advanced, I'll change the smoothness to 0%, and then I'll set a keyframe for the start at 0. I'll move ahead to, let's say, frame 40, and then I'll change that start to 100%. And there you have it. There's the type on. So because we changed the smoothness to 0%, it doesn't do any fades. It just pops right on, which is exactly what you want with a type on animation. The last text animation is going to be our text on a path. So I'll open up that text animation 5 composition and create a new text layer. I will go ahead and center it. And then I'll use the pen tool to draw a path that I want the text to follow. All right, so that's looking pretty good. So I'll twirl down my text layer, then text, and then the path options menu. Under path options, I'll choose my mask that I just drew. And you'll see instantly the text goes right onto that mask. Now what I'm gonna do is just animate this first margin property. So if I scroll that to the left some, I can have it go all the way off screen and I'll set a keyframe. Then I'll move my play at about 30 frames up and I'll change that value to zero, which centers it right into the middle of the path. I'll move ahead a little bit further, and I'll set another keyframe with the same value. And then I'll move another 30 frames ahead and change that value so it animates right off the screen. I'll highlight those middle two keyframes and then apply an easy ease, and then I'll right click and go to keyframe velocity and change their influences just to make that ease a little bit nicer. And there you have it. There's the text on a path. Well, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did and you'd like to see more tutorials, please go ahead and subscribe because we're making new ones all the time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.